So the emerging climate crisis is providing strong rationale for COP to be re-evaluated as material for house building. So COP is a natural composite consisting of uh, soil, uh, typically subsoil uh, and fiber. Uh, straw is typically used and it's a material that's been used for millennia for traditional house building in many cultures around the world, including the UK. The great thing about COP is that it has one of the lowest environmental impacts of any house building materials. My name is Dr. Taus Jungsen. I'm an associate professor here at Center for Print Research at the University of the West of England in Bristol. And through experiments with uh, the extrusion process, we've developed a, a new concept for a complete corp fabrication that can enable architects, uh, builders, uh, researchers to experiment with new corp brick designs at incredibly low cost, unpre unprecedented speed and with almost no environmental impact. So extrusion is already used extensively for fired ceramic architectural components such as bricks and tiles. Um, however, in terms of corp, the use of extrusion is largely unexplored. With the help of research into new COP compositions developed by the Cobage COP project at the University of Plymouth, we've been generating promising new approaches in this area. While our research used COP recipes developed by the University of Plymouth as a starting point, we have needed to make alterations in terms of compositions to make them extrudable. We've also been developing particular geometries in terms of the extrusion dies, so they could cope with the particular material characteristics of the fibrous COP composites. I guess the common denominator and the core of the research is really develop uh, a tool making system where people can explore different usage of the concepts that we've been creating. In particular, using 3D printing to make the dies, you can create sophisticated interlocking shapes and you can explore variations of uh, carp composites. Uh, we've been using hemp, shiv and straw, but there are many, many other possibilities in terms of uh, soil and fiber. But really low carbon, low impact buildings, that's really where, where we need to see the developments and that's what we want to see. And I think there's a great need for this kind of research. Uh, within this kind of broad aim, there's also much scope in terms of the systems that you can uh, develop and the, the production tools that we develop are so cheap and quick that you can they really offer opportunities for innovation in lots of different aspects. Essentially, you can 3D print uh, a very uh, sophisticated uh, extrusion dye in a very short space of time, very cheaply as well, and you can extrude almost straight away. And that really opens up possibilities of rapid development uh, with different applications. We have found that you know some of the, you know we developed some dyes that might get uh, the extrusion that might bend or have some sort of defects, but then we can print a new version overnight, and the next morning we can have three or four new designs ready to test. So this really rapid iterative process is a massive advantage uh, in terms of develop ideas and get the outcomes that we want.